Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 3, Semifinals, Episode 7. There are seven, seven semifinalists, although there were only six episodes, and I'll explain that in a second. Let's get started. Let's, for, let's first look at our celebrity model. Our celebrity model is Imelda Stanton, who I know from The Crown. She's played the queen in her somewhat later years. So she's been on for at least two seasons, but I recognize her face from lots of BBC and BritBox programs. The judges wanted a more complex background, and so they said as a challenge to these fi semi-finalists, they want them to include the background in the final composition of the painting. So we'll see how that goes. But you can get a pretty good idea of the wall of roses behind her. And looking close up, they are fake, but that doesn't matter. So the semi-finalists, let's take a look at who they are because you might not remember as we've recapped the episodes. This is semi-finalist number one. This is her uh, self-portrait. In order to enter the program, you submit a self-portrait digitally and from that, they select who will be in the program. And she's a very fine painter. And from her episode, this is the painting that she won her episode with. Very traditionally painted, very carefully done. And I thought, wow, she has a good chance of winning this thing. She uh, seems to be pretty versatile to me the fr because her self-portrait looks sort of light and fresh, and this one is much more studied. But we'll see what happens with that. The next one up is a artist who works in charcoal and pencil, and you couldn't ask for a more accurate drawing than that. It's sort of amazing. So that was what he entered the competition with. And let's look at the paint, painting drawing that got him to win his episode and brings him here to the semifinals. So again, a lot, um, quite a bit of consistency between the painting that took him as much time as he wanted to his self-portrait and the one that he did in four hours in his episode. This is the third semi-finalist. There is a self-portrait, which I think is pretty good, but um, boy, I really, really disliked the painting that he did uh, that moved him forward into these semi-finals. If, uh, if you go back, I think this is episode five, it doesn't resemble the sitter in any way, and that, that disturbs me. I think it has to have some resemblance to the sitter. Here is our fourth semi-finalist. Um, she, it looks very much like her, but she's a very chromatic painter, monochromatic painter, I should say, and this is the painting that won her particular episode. I just, just think it's fun to be reminded of which were, not only who these artists are, but how did they get here? So it looks very much like a watercolor, but it is not. It just must be acrylic, very much thinned down and watery. It also seems very slippery. I don't know what surface she's working on. Here's the next semi-finalist, and I, I just love this self-portrait so much. I just love it. Oh my gosh. Um, now, he is not a professional artist. There are two people in this finals that are not professionals, and he's one of them, which is surprising to me because he, he certainly has the chops to be a professional. And here's the painting that won his particular episode. So now we come to the seventh semi-finalist, whereas there should only be six. And that was because on his episode, they passed him by. And that was in, oh no, first there's this one. I, I call this guy Doctor Who, but if you watch Doctor Who, you understand the reference. But um, he is not a professional, and I really, really like his self-portrait. It's quite moody and, and uh, lovely light. Here is the painting that he won his heat with. Now, it was his heat that where he went forward, and the next artist, who is now in the semifinals, they let this artist go, which was just egregious to me. So they said on reflection, they decided to bring him back. He is not a professional which astounds me because he's, he's, I think he's gonna win the whole thing. I think he should win the whole thing, but that's my opinion. Um, so it's lovely to see him back. So there are some, seven semi-finalists, and this is the painting that he did where he was ousted from the program completely, uh, and but brought back on reflection. And I wonder if that had something to do with a certain degree of fans kind of upset with the inconsistency of the judging anyway and, and them really realizing that they had 
they had missed an opportunity here. So once again, the artists have four hours to complete a painting. And let's take a look at Imelda's reaction when they turn them around, which is really lovely. I mean, she's just so excited. Yay! And it, and it was exciting. They're, they really are all seven good painters, and she's going to choose one of these to take home with her, one of the paintings to take home with her. That has nothing to do with the final judging about who goes forward into the finals. Three of these painters will go forward into the finals. So here's the first one for her to choose from. Uh, it's... Um, there's a resemblance. You know, it's certainly consistent with the person's style. It's just a little bit, I would call it, for me, muddy. But um, it's just not my first choice. And I, don't, I never thought that this person could win the program. But uh, we will see what happens. The next one is an incredibly accurate drawing, which is consistent with what this fellow has done all the way along. And remember, the final prize is a $10,000 commission to complete a celebrity portrait. So you really have to have the goods in order to, um, it's not just about winning, it's about having to execute commission at the end. This is the one that, uh, this is the third one, and um, it certainly captures the impishness of her face and her grin. So I thought this could be a contender. This, I, I really like this one as well. Gosh, there's so many that are really good. It's going to be, it would be very difficult for me to decide. Uh, which one I would choose. Uh, but I would choose this one. This was the fellow that was eliminated and then brought back. I mean, you couldn't get more of a likeness than that. And the color is, I love the saturated color and the pixelation that he does. This is the one that uh, kind of doesn't work for me, I think for pretty obvious reasons. Um, so I was surprised because the one that, that his self-portrait was pretty darn good, but he had a lot of time to do it. And on um, this one, he definitely did not uh, get where he needed to go. And this one, I have virtually nothing to say about this one. It, it's, um, I'm very surprised that this person is a professional painter, but we'll leave it at that. So now we get to Imelda's pick. Which one is she going to pick to take home? And she picks one that I think will look lovely in her home. And you can see the artist shaking her hand. And um, she really captured Imelda on this day. So beautiful job. It's a nice kind of quiet, subdued painting. And um, I think it would look great in anybody's home. So that's the one Imelda picked, but not who the judges are picking for necessarily for the three to go on. The winners. Three winners go on to what are called the finals. Let's see who they are. The judges are about to announce it, and this is kind of, you know, it's really exciting. But I had the three in my mind that I thought, this one for sure. I'm telling you, <laughs> I think this guy should win the whole thing, but they might not allow it because they have eggs on their face for getting rid of him. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know if they'll be, their egos will be able to get over that hurdle or not. The next one, I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I, da, 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 da. Yeah, there were so many fine painters. There were some not fine painters throughout this season, but there were some fine ones. I don't know how she got this far, and I don't don't think that's going to work in the finals. And this is the f uh, final one to be chosen as one of the three to go forward to the finals, which is so exciting because that's the next episode. And the next episode is episode eight. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.